Yo, yo, yo. All right, so where do we left off? Oh, man. Okay, so. Sent the files off to your client. They're looking at them. And uh, they're sitting there waiting like, what am I supposed to do while I'm waiting? I mean, because depend depending on the client, uh, they may be busy. They, they may have your response like quicker than you think. You know, you might get the response the following day, but if they're busy, you might, it, may, it may take a few days because they want to look over them thoroughly. What I would do is uh, go through the images I like and uh, go, go through all the images and select the ones I like. The reason I'm doing that is because some clients will have an idea of what they like and some will let you know or ask, what do you like? You know, it's like reverse psychology. You know, they they might look at some photos and they might think, you know, they're making the best choice, but they really want your input. You know, that's why they hired you, right? So um, what I would do is select anywhere between, I don't know, Let's go through these images. Let me see how many I, I pick myself. I usually pick anywhere between like six to eight photos. Probably six, probably being the most. I wouldn't say eight. Eight if it's like maybe multiple looks with one model. Now if it's one model and that model has like uh, four or five looks, yeah, I might I might pick eight photos, two of each, depending. Uh, it depends on the model. You know, I mean, if the model is model material, then I, I, I wouldn't mind doing some retouching on the side uh, on a creative scale. When I say creative scale, I mean removing backgrounds or uh, doing some cool photo bashing or photo manipulation and, you know, making them look like elves or, you know, angels or whatever. Or just something fun and creative. You know, I would have fun if, you know, retouching photos like that if the model looks good if the model don't i'm just retouching whatever the company tells me to i mean that's, that's what i'm not about to sit there and you know perform plastic so this is this is a nip tuck you know and and i hate to say it, a lot of photos don't get retouched because a lot of the models that are selected when you're dealing with clients that uh that let their hairstylists or i would say let their fashion stylists or um, let them pick the model. You know, if, if the model isn't industry ready, meaning the model wasn't picked, uh, hand selected from a modeling agency, or if the model, if you go to her portfolio, meaning Facebook or Instagram, and it's not consistent with photo shoots, um, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have to perform some surgery on their photos. Because one, if they don't model, they're not good with facial expressions. They're not good with posing. You have to sit there and try to coach them. And they could have a cute face, but all the images are suck because their facial expressions are like, like, what am I supposed to do? It's like, that's not my job. I mean, another thing, that's not a photographer's job to tell a model what to do when it comes to, to, to posing and modeling. They're supposed to know how to do that. <clears throat> Never get mad at a photographer who who gives you this look like all right, all right i'm done yeah i'm done you know and they're asking you anything else you know anything else you want her to do no i'm, I'm done because there's nothing you can do there's nothing you can pull out of that person if that person isn't giving you something from the start they have to give you some type of energy that shows you i'm into this i'm into this photo shoot you know it, it amazes me how females can take thousands of pictures on their cell phone but when they get in front of a professional camera, they just like ball up, you know, and then you can sit there and try to tell them to be comfortable. And I mean, you can sit there and try to do anything to make them feel comfortable and they, they, they will not get it, you know, and that's time wasted. You know, I don't have time to be sitting there. This isn't Maury, you know, I'm not about to sit there and try to, you know, make you feel comfortable. You know, you should already know how to do that. You know, as, as someone that's coming on to a set, if you're picking the model, Make sure your model has the understanding that, okay, that we're going on to a professional set and 
if you're not into this, let me know so I can go find somebody else. First of all, that should be your first choice anyway, is to go find a model who knows what they're doing. Instead of just posting on your Instagram, looking for models, looking for models, anybody hit me up. No. What you should do as a professional is to go seek and find a professional model by either searching hashtags or Googling model agencies or uh, going out in the public and looking for specific faces that you like and speaking to them. You know, don't be scared. You know, that's what you should do instead of just posting on your page. Oh, I'm looking for models and, and then all these people hit you up and you just pick whoever you want because you're like, oh, well, they're the only ones that responded to me. And the other excuse I always hear. Well, everyone is not gonna let me do what they want me to do with their hair. Well, you work a way around it. You know, um, if, if you're used to working on that person's natural hair, go teach yourself how to work with hair extensions or with wigs or with weave. You know, do it, I was, I was always taught, do what you can with what you got until you can get what you need based off what you've created, if that makes sense. Um, I had this girl, in Savannah once some of his other photographer she uh she used to inbox me for your advice and uh so like, everybody ain't got it like you will you know as far as like wardrobe and all that and, and models and this but I'm like I used to go in Goodwill and spend 15 20 dollars to buy outfits and I would take them to a photo shoot and style them out of myself and get the photos published in a magazine you know is you work with what you got you know I mean if if you can't find models that let you cut their hair, color their hair, whatever, well, go get a wig and or some hair extensions and do what you can with that. Create the vision of what you want and then go put it on the model that is beautiful and a professional and put that on her hair. That way you can still have your vision. And while you're doing that, you're also teaching yourself something different. You know, you're taking yourself out of this box that you're used to being in of always just working on a specific type of, you know, model when it comes to cut in color, uh, whatever, you know, your hairstylists do. And you're putting yourself in another box, forcing yourself to learn how to do something different and teaching yourself new skills to create something different because you want a, you want a polished look. You don't want just a model who's just gonna come in and they don't have the look from head to toe. Excuse me but you're just gonna use them because of course they're gonna let you cut and color and do whatever you want with their hair because they're not a model. And they just, and, oh, it was a photo shoot? Yes, yes. Uh, no, 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 stop, 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 all right? Go find somebody professional, all right? And if, if it boils down to if you're only used to working a certain way, I understand, okay? If you're only used to working you know, with certain models to let you work on their hair naturally, you know, and you finally find a model who's beautiful and professional and can pose and do everything you need with facial expressions, but they have limitations to their hair, find out what you can do with their hair. Instead of saying, oh, okay, well, thank you anyway, sit down and ask them, well, what, what can I do with your hair? What will you allow me to do with your hair? And they're gonna let you know. They're like, okay, all right, that's cool. Let's still let's work with it, and then you go home and you find something to do as far as to creating that uh, that'll work with her uh, request. And I promise you, I mean, if she lets you, I mean, if y'all guys work together and the shoot comes out great, which I'm pretty sure it will, I guarantee you the next time around, the next two or three times around, she'll finally open up. Be like, you know what? Go ahead, cut it. Go ahead and color it. Go ahead and do this. The point is to get them in around the environment so they can see everything else that's going on. You know, see the, the other models, see all the colors, see all the, the fun, the, the cutting, this, this, this. Let them be engulfed in that experience so they can be like, you know what? So they can sit and think about it. Like, you know what? Hey, yeah, go ahead and do that in my hair. Cause they're gonna see somebody else in there and be like, you know what? I want, ooh, that'd be hard. I'm like, ooh, I wonder how I'm looking at. Ooh, I wonder how I'm looking at. I wonder how I'm looking at. If you don't, if you don't put them in that environment, so they can see what they could potentially look like, they'll never know.